Hey, Pete Holman here reporting for PT on the net. My background's in physical therapy, and I'm a certified strength and conditioning specialist through the NSCA. I also have a competitive background as a former U.S. National Taekwondo champion and team captain for the U.S. National Taekwondo team. Over the last few years, I've immersed myself in something that I've been calling asymmetrical bar training, or ABT. Today's video is going to cover what ABT is, the benefits of ABT training for you and your clients, and how to get started on a basic program using asymmetrical bar training. So without further ado, let's take a deeper look at ABT training. Most trainers understand how to work on foundational movement patterns like pushing, pulling, squatting, and even combining these patterns together. However, these movements all occur in the linear plane of motion, in the sagittal plane. And if we look at how we move in everyday life and sports, we use multiple planes of motion concurrently to create fluid, smooth, integrated, and complex movement patterns as seen in an overhead tennis serve. Asymmetrical bar training is a unique type of training modality which uses a rigid lever bar with a resistance connected to just one side of the bar. This asymmetrical load challenges balance, improves strength, trains coordination, all while integrating foundational movement patterns, helping to improve performance and durability. Let's take a look at some of the benefits of ABT training. The first thing you'll notice while ABT training is the challenge to your posture. The bar wants to rotate you back towards the anchor, which forces all your core muscles to engage, righting your posture, improving your center of gravity and balance, and allowing you to perform complex integrated movement patterns like the squat overhead press. The second benefit of ABT training is its ability to engage the anti-rotators and the rotators throughout the body. The function of the anti-rotators is to maintain stability through the spine while the user generates power through the hips in a transverse plane of motion. The final benefit of ABT training is its unique ability to be incorporated into HIT training programs. HIT training has increased in popularity since studies in the mid-1990s by Tremblay and Tabata showed that not only does HIT training improve VO2 max, but also is more efficient at burning calories than long slow distance cardio. Now let's take a look at three progressions to help get you started with ABT training. The first one is a squat press progression. And all you're going to do is start out holding the bar in an isometric position off your chest, making sure you can control posture and alignment. From there, we're just going to get into basic chest presses, trying to keep the bar in a horizontal position, pressing out with both arms. Once you feel comfortable there, we're going to layer in a squat pattern. Remember, keep the knees stacked over the feet, head and chest tall, extend the arms out, and explode off the chest. The next progression is a squat row progression. Now you want to make sure both scapula are depressed and retracted. And from that position, you can start to row. Now, notice how our right scapula is going into elevation. You want to correct for that. There she goes. Pretty good correction there. Now both scapula are down and back. Once you've got a nice horizontal row, you can add a squat to the movement. That creates a triple extension and triple flexion movement pattern with a transverse plane load. Now let's look at the final progression, which is a Powell-off press progression. This is what Dr. Stuart McGill calls a torsional buttressing task, which challenges the spinal stabilizers in the frontal, transverse, and eventually in the sagittal plane because we add a squat here. Now notice as she starts to squat down, she's keeping the bar closer to her chest. It gives her a little bit more mechanical advantage during the harder squatting part of the motion. But as she feels comfortable, she's going to hold the bar in the extended position of that pull-off press as she goes into her squat progression. Asymmetrical bar training is a new training modality in the fitness industry. However, its ability to enhance posture, to improve rotational strength and power, and to adjunct any type of HIIT training workout makes it a viable tool for any trainer's toolbox. Thanks for joining me on this video, and until next time, train hard, have fun, and make your vision your reality. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about introduction to asymmetrical bar training or in general, please leave a comment and we will do our absolute best to answer you. And if you want any more information about PT on the Net or Pete Holman, click on the links in the description. Subscribe to our channel. We upload a video every week.